This is a square drive style hydraulic wrench. Inside the unibody housing is the hydraulic piston. The two supply hoses connect to a 360 degree by 180 degree swivel that allows the wrench to fit into tight places and keeps the fittings and hoses from being trapped against an obstruction and damaged. There are two hoses because the piston is driven forward and then returned by alternating hydraulic pressure as the pump shifts the direction of the flow. The splined square drive fits into standard impact sockets so that changing sizes is quick and easy. Square drive wrenches come in various models with square drive sizes from one half inch to three and a half inches and power ranges from 100 to over 100,000 foot pounds. The power output within the range of each model is adjusted by regulating the pressure on the pump. Most hydraulic wrenches, including those from high torque, are numbered indicating their maximum torque capacity in thousands of foot pounds. For example, a high torque Avanti 3 has a maximum torque output of approximately 3,000 foot pounds at the maximum pump pressure of 10,000 psi while an Avanti 5 will produce about 5,000 foot-pounds at that same 10,000 psi pressure. The 3 has a 1 inch square drive, while the 5 has an inch and a half drive in order to handle the higher torque that wrench produces. Each wrench is designed so that it will not break its own drive. This is the reaction arm which blocks against the solid surface to keep the wrench from rotating as the socket turns. It is easily adjusted with one hand to reach the blocking point. But the rule is to keep the arm pointing generally in the same direction as the drive so that the force applied to the socket and the resulting force on the reaction arm stay in the same plane to minimize rolling or side loading of the wrench. The reaction arm can create a dangerous pinch point which must be avoided. A safety handle should always be attached to the wrench to provide a secure handhold out of the danger zone. If no handle is available, the wrench should be steadied only by grasping at the reinforced hose guards. On either side is a small lever which is used to disengage the ratchet and release the wrench should the tool be put in a bind. The direction of the wrench, whether to tighten or loosen, is determined by which side of the tool the drive and socket are on. You will note that the drive is offset from the plane of the piston. If we look down on the top of the socket, as the piston travels forward, the drive will be turned in a clockwise direction, tightening the nut. If we want to loosen a nut, Depress the drive retainer button and remove the drive from the wrench. Place it in the opposite side making sure to align the splines and secure it with the retainer. Readjust the reaction arm, taking care to find a solid surface close to the plane of the nut. Now when we look down on the socket, as the piston travels forward, the socket will be driven counterclockwise, unscrewing the nut. The direction of the wrench, tighten or loosen, is marked on the side of the tool and is red on the side opposite the socket. Once the drive is in the correct orientation, reposition the safety handle before proceeding.